Space may be the final frontier, but that isn't stopping one New Zealand company from aiming for the stars. Today, Rocket Lab became the first company to blast a satellite into orbit using its own private launch pad facility, marking New Zealand's entry into the global space race. A decade ago, Peter Beck cobbled together $300,000 from an angel investor, friends and family to build his first prototype rocket. Now he is on the cusp of revolutionising how companies access space as he tries to grab a slice of an industry worth well over $300 billion. What you're witnessing here is, is you know, the flip from space being a government dominated domain to a commercial dominated domain and all the innovation that, that, that occurs when that happens. And when you think about you know, commercial aviation, the onset and, and birth of commercial aviation and what that led to, uh, that's what we're seeing with space right now. Up to now, rockets used to propel satellites into orbit have been large, heavy and metal, and therefore expensive. They cost $100 million or more to launch from mainly government-run launch pads. But the development of nano-satellites, roughly the size of a shoebox, is vastly reducing costs and supercharging demand. Fleetspace, an Australian satellite developer, wants to use Rocket Lab to get its nano satellites in orbit to provide internet to remote areas. Over the next few years, we're going to launch a hundred of these nano satellites ourselves um, to cover the whole world in connectivity. Up until now, it has been extremely difficult to make money from space. But as technological barriers subside and the cost comes down, private capital is flowing into the sector. One of Rocket Lab's key advantages is actually the relative remoteness of its location in New Zealand. Its launch site is on an 8,000 acre sheep farm without any airspace restrictions because of the dearth of commercial flights in the area. So New Zealand has fantastic geography for what we're trying to achieve here. You know, we're licensed to launch every 72 hours for the next 30 years. And to put that into context, you know, America as a country went to space 21 times last year. Rocket Lab has pioneered the use of carbon composite materials in rockets rather than aluminium. It has also 3D printed its rocket engine, reducing the time it takes to build each rocket and the cost of each launch. Rocket Lab sent its first rocket into space in May, although it failed to reach orbit. Today, it achieved that feat with its second test launch, successfully deploying three satellites. The risks of investing in space are large, but the potential rewards are huge, ensuring Rocket Lab will have plenty of competition in the years ahead. Jamie Smith, Financial Times, Auckland, New Zealand.